Did you know you can make games with React? I don't mean like dumb little point and click cookie clicker type stuff. I mean full interactive 3D environments. And it's actually kind of a cool way to build it due to how components work. Like you can make a box, you can make a ball as a component and then render five of them and just have five things in your 3D world. It's so cool. I've had so much fun playing with these, this stuff and the creators of it are actually gonna be a familiar name. Hope you enjoy this. So, React 3 Fiber is a super, super cool library by the Poimanders crew. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, PMNDRS. They make a ton of really awesome projects, many of which we've talked about here, a few of which you're probably already using. If we go to the Poimanders GitHub quick, you will see a bunch of very popular and often used libraries, things we talk about a lot here, like Zustand and React Spring and Use Gesture. They also have other crazy 3D stuff like the GLTF converter, Use Canon, React 3 Fiber. They also have Jodi, uh, Vaultio, I believe is in here too, as well as uh, Use Context Selector, which are all super valuable packages. A big part of why Poimanders has done all of this incredible work to make good performant state management solutions within React is because they're trying to make these crazy 3D environments within React. All of the craziest hacks that I tend to see in React, both like the fastest ways to do state and the craziest ways to break out, come from this crew. We absolutely do not deserve Poimanders and the hard work that Paul Henschel, Dai Shi, and all of the other contributors within the Poimanders ecosystem have been building for us. Another super fun one that dropped today, It's Fine, a collection of escape hatches for React. Uh, er, uh, uh, Paul Angel specifically tweeted, make sure Dan and Sebastian don't see this. It's hilarious. It's a bunch of like, here's how you access the internal fiber in React so that you can bind things to it. Here's how you access like container layers in the reconciler. Just absolute lunacy. <laughs> Use nearest child. That is so dangerous. That is so dangerous. And it is so useful in weird 3D shit. Anyways, I, I could nerd out about the, the ways that these guys break React forever, but I'm going to focus on one of the ways they make it cool. So React 3 Fiber lets you render, and I should make this a little bigger. You can create meshes, which are 3D elements and entities through 3.js. And you can render those in React using components. So here we have a mesh that has, we have, we'll start at the top. Mesh is the reference to the binding that we're putting here. I don't like that they're reusing the name mesh there in there. It's a little confusing. I would have given this like the name mesh ref or something. But from there on, it's pretty traditional React state. Const hovered, set hovered, const active, set active, and then use frame. This is a very interesting hook because it lets you escape out of React and update an entity inside of React or inside of your like 3D environment without having to rerun React on every frame. So this will update the rotation of whatever this mesh entity is bound to on the x-axis by 0.01 every frame, which means that this will just rotate constantly on the x-axis. And we see here on pointer click, we set hover to true. On pointer out, we set it to false. And when hovered is true, it's hot pink, otherwise it's orange. We also have box geometry. This is the shape of what we're putting the mesh in. And we give it some positions. And now we can old school React create root style, render a canvas with these things inside of it. The code examples, I'm pretty sure there's a code sandbox here we can go to. Yes, there is. So in this code sandbox, you can see here we, we have the box, which is a reusable component. And then here we render two of them. We also render a point light and I can remove these lights and everything's a lot darker. We can add them back. You can see the actual like behavior on the lights and stuff here. And just like we showed before, when I hover, it sets the state from false to true. And I can switch this so it's true by default. And then I have to hover to turn them back orange because that's how React works. Y'all already know that. That's why you're here. This is one of the coolest ways to take your React knowledge and the structure of components and put them in a 3D world. This shit is so cool. You, they even have, 
let me see if I can find, there's a flex box. Yeah, somebody made a flex box in React 3 Fiverr, which is as crazy as it sounds. Can I open a new window? Cool, here's the preview of it. It ever loads. This page is absolutely nuts. How insanely cool is all of that? But now, probably the coolest part, it's a flex box. So we can resize it and it behaves properly. It even like flexes things within the 3D environment. Yeah, really cool stuff. I am, I'm obsessed <laughs> with the shit Point Manders does. They even have games. There's a few people who are making like actual games they sell on Steam. Uh, volumetric lighting stuff's cool. Do they still have the car example? Is that one on here? That's, that's not the one I'm thinking of. They have like a race car driver example. This, there's so many examples in this. I didn't realize how far down I had scrolled. Ooh, this looks cool. I haven't seen this one. That's so cool. Yeah, it's a really cool way to add just crazy effects, super cool 3D environments and stuff to your React apps. You can actually get it working in React Native. I don't know how well supported it is, but Expo for a while had a binding where you could use React 3 Fiber on React Native. I had it working for a little bit in an app I was working on a while back. This is so cool. It's like an actual like, 3D Star Wars environment. Oh, it's a, I can play? Oh, this is so cool. Somebody, I forgot that this had ever came out. This is a, a kind of new thing where you can like change the variables within your like React 3 Fiverr setup live and see and like change the ray tracing behaviors here and shit. Oh, this is, I, I'm really nerdy about game engines and engine tech. What, what GPU do I have? I'm just on a MacBook. It's a MacBook Pro to be fair, but these things run on mobile surprisingly well. I play around with a lot of these demos on my phone because I just see them when Paul Henschel tweets them and I'm on my phone when I see that. And they they are surprisingly smooth and performant. Yeah. So do I think you should rush out of your way to go build your next app or website in React 3 Fiber? Yeah, probably not. Certainly not if you want to make like a really big, solid, serious game. But if you're a deep React developer and you want to play with 3D, this stuff is unbeatable. It is so fun and so cool. I yeah, I, I cannot recommend enough that if you haven't yet, you play with this stuff a little bit because it is genuinely some of the most fun I have had with React. And it, it helped me, for, first off, it helped me better understand the relationship between React and things outside of it. React 3 Fiber is an alternative renderer, kind of like how React Native is. So you're not using the traditional React DOM package. And because of that, I began to better understand the relationship between React and the things that rendered it. And I also got better at taking things that shouldn't be in React and pulling them out for performance reasons. All of those behaviors and like the deeper understanding I got of React through playing with this was super empowering for me. And I... Yeah, I can't recommend it enough. If you haven't already played with something like this, definitely do. It's a super cool project, super fun. And Paul Henschel, the creator of React 3 Fiber, now works at uh, Vercel, helping with everything from Next.js to doing crazy like 3D stuff, like the new Next.js site for the uh, conference they just announced. I'm sure he had something to do with that. Not quite sure who worked on it, but I'd be surprised if he didn't. Anyways, please go play with this stuff if you haven't already. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Join the Discord if you want to share all the cool things that we find like this. t3.gg slash Discord. I appreciate y'all a ton. Thank you.